Colbert told me to come here. What? Me? No way! You did what? Colbert? When? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> At the bar. Yeah, remember? At that bar on 33rd and Main Street. Don't you remember that cocky drunk guy? Uh, no. He kept bragging about how he was banging another guy's wife. Oh? Oh yeah, weird times, huh? Yeah, and you congratulated me for finding Yale and saving your life. Several times! Then I asked you if O'Leary would thank me somehow. And I thought it was a very reasonable assumption. And then you told me to come here to ask the boss himself. Yeah, I think you deserve it. Right, Desmond? Oh, black side, black side, black What? What did I do wrong? Thank okay. you. And sorry for jumping to conclusions. First, you get a random beating from Wilson. And now this. Although you have to admit I had my reasons to be suspicious, you ran away from Yale's apartment, didn't you? But as you well know, you can't trust anyone in this world. Take it. It's only fair. Let's do this. <laughs> I want to bet it all on the fight, on Sonia Dunn's behalf. Oh, what a romantic you are. We listen, if you call it listening, to the sentimental romance. Your eyes act like the moon. Ah, a cultured man. Anyway, go ahead. Place your bet. No, but on Yale, I guess. I bet it all on Yale. <laughs> oh, Black Sad. Aren't these odd hours to pay me a visit? Your message was important, but certainly not urgent. It could have waited until tomorrow. No, I don't know what's going on tomorrow. We cats and wolves hunt at night. Is that done? Is it over? I wish I was a noir fiction writer. At this very moment, I could write a couple of pointed, ironic remarks for the narrator to recount what I just lived through. The dark, crooked alleys of New York reminded me of the state of my own soul. Hmm. No. Fall loomed over me with the fall struck me with the full force of my long-lost youth. Nah, not that. Oh, what the fuck? Fall descended over me with the full weight of a guilty conscience. What the hell are you? God, that's worse. My third ass beating in 24 hours. <laughs> what were you thinking? He wants him alive. Hell's horses. <laughs> uh, 
I felt fall seep through my bones like the pain of a good beating. <laughs> Mediocre, but appropriate. Oh, Black said. How does it feel to get your ass kicked three times in one day? Against all odds, next morning I got up bright eyed and bushy tailed. And I had my kind, unknown assailants to thank. The beating had taken its toll, but for the first time in months, I had slept like a baby. How do you creep up on a on a famous tennis player like that? Oh come on, John! You got a fake FBI badge? Well, Mr. Blackmore, what can I do for the FBI? Uh. Cooperate with law enforcement. All you have to do is talk. <laughs> I like to speak through my actions, but still, could you be more specific? What's the plan here? Maybe if we could speak in private? Alec! Coming! You've got four minutes, Mr. Blackmore, so... Make them count. We know about you and Desmond O'Leary. Wow. The FBI sure knows what it's doing. So, out of the 100 million Americans who know about that, who did you extort to get such highly confidential information? The thing is, well... <sighs> you see, I'd love to wipe out that part of my past, but... whatever. Do you have any regrets? Ads pay more than trophies. Can you believe it? Mm-hmm. Being associated with such a shady character can only damage my reputation. Trust me, never get involved with a married man. Okay, well what about this? <laughs> they say you're currently involved with Al Stone, the boxer. Is that correct? Wow, your sagacity never ceases to amaze me. Don't beat around the bush. We know why you're with him. Oh, so you like his biceps too. Desmond O'Leary asked you to seduce Stone. Why? What? No, I met Al by chance at a party. A party hosted by Desmond O'Leary. No, that can't be. No one is that shrewd. Not even him. Damn, I hate that bastard. Okay, uh... Let's about that. We're aware of at least six rigged games during your first year as a professional player. And? You won all of them. <sighs> Are you trying to offend me? I give my all on the court. I can't be held accountable if my rivals don't do the same. Go interrogate them. In any case, now I know why you mentioned O'Leary. What do you really have against him? And don't say illegal gambling. I'm sorry, but I can't reveal that information. I'm serious, Miss Moore. America can't afford to let anyone shake its foundations like that. And America's sweetheart can't afford it either. Help us out. Talk to us. And why should I, Mr. Blackmore? What do I stand uh, to gain or lose? She your patriotism? <laughs> Our country faces drastic problems that require drastic solutions. Do you want to be part of the problem 
or part of the solution? This is actually quite simple. Wait, what? We didn't already get this? <laughs> oh, nope. Lucky gal. You have a light, sir? <laughs> you are creepy as fuck. I hope you know that. The pearly white teeth of someone who barely smokes. Am I making her nervous? Damn, I'm almost out of fluid. Want to know my trick? Go down to start, then up with it, and then down again. Zippos aren't that hard to use. I hope you know that. Oh. Will I get to smoke today? Almost. Why you gotta be so fast? <laughs> it's just a lighter. Thanks. I don't know what you want me to say. You're trying to frame O'Leary, perhaps rightfully so, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Believe me. If I had the slightest idea. Come on, Helen. <sighs> Time to work on your backhand. Let's go. <sighs> Do you smoke? Oh, okay, that's cool. Nice meeting you, Mr. Blackmore. Did you bring my water? I know I said I was going to stop after the O'Leary part, but, you know, might as well go for a full two hours. Why not? Gives me room to work with. America's sweetheart gave you her cigarette? Dear God, she has the hots for you! I can't believe you said good old weekly to investigate that stupid walrus while you were hanging out with Helen Calm Morris. down. So, what do you say, you and me, we change places next time, huh? Your turn. Now tell me, what did you find out? Ah, you're gonna love this. You ready? I've got news, but I happen to also have a pla- Hold on, buddy. Black sad. Huh? Oh, Mrs. Colbert. My husband woke me up this morning with roses and breakfast in bed. He said he had a scare last night, although he won't give me any details, and that he's been thinking about me ever since. He wants to take me to Niagara Falls for a second honeymoon. <laughs> That's nice, but I don't know why you're thanking me. Make the most of it. Well, I only did my job as honestly as I could. Enjoy your marriage. I hope you and your husband are happy. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Send me your bill when you can. You're a good man, Mr. Black Sad. Well, at least you still pay. Uh, but what just happened? Is there anything you didn't tell me? Maybe. But now it's your turn. Tell me about Cassidy. Come on, spit it out. I didn't find anything suggesting that Cassidy had anything to do with Dunn's murder, but... That's quite the tale. 
But I know Cassidy will be playing poker tonight with one Howard M. Farnham II, a Texas tycoon looking to get his claws on the boxing business. I also know that he and Cassidy have never met in person, and that Farnham, who's staying at the Balford Hotel, hasn't left his room. Apparently, he spent the night with three bottles of bourbon. So, here's my incredible plan. I'll go to the hotel. <laughs> I'd knock him out. Huh. And then, take his place in the poker game. That way, I'll get Cassidy talking. What do you think? Incredible, right? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Didn't we agree that you would handle Helen more while I dealt with Cassidy next time? No? Okay. okay. Great segment, I guess. The game hasn't crashed yet, so I guess I can call myself lucky so far. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think right here is a good stopping point for now. And I'm starting to get tired again, so I should probably get back in bed. But anyways, that was session two of Black's Head. It went exceptionally better than last time. Probably because the game was starting to actually pick up again. Uh, I don't know when I can record this again. Maybe Sunday, maybe not. Because I know I want to record some more Brotherhood tonight. Because I need to get more footage for that. But... I will definitely be playing this again sometime soon because I do wanna I do wanna have this game done as soon as possible, just so I can have footage for the game, you know, already done and then get started on my next project. So I can have that ready. But that is for later on. That's for later on. So I hope you guys have a good day, have a good night, hope you guys get plenty of sleep, have a good meal in the morning, do good at work or at school, and I'll see you guys in our next session. Bye-bye.